Hello, fellow fellow words. Welcome back to Fan Scene. Greg here, and today I have for you an update on the upcoming Halloween TV series. Uh, a little something different today, other than the physical media. Uh, you know, horror is one of the topics on the channel that I like to focus on. I'm a huge uh, Halloween fan, but I got to be honest with you here lately with the Halloween movie, especially the Blumhouse trilogy. Uh, I'm feeling like Michael Myers and the Halloween, you know, ness of that needs to take a little take a little step back. I think, uh, you know, it's something that um, is, is, is needed, is needed, in my, in my opinion, in my opinion. I know there's some people that are very excited for this TV series, and some people aren't. So uh, let's just go or pop up this article here. This is from Fangoria. It says, Miramax's Halloween series is going back to the original film. Uh, the small screen slasher will be a total creative reset following Blumhouse's recent reboot trilogy by Amber T. And uh, look, they use a picture of, it's going back to the original uh you know, the old school original Halloween, but let's use a picture of the Blumhouse Michael Myers. <laughs> so, okay, let's start with that. But it, let's go scroll down here and see what it says. It says, back in October of last year, it was announced that after a heated bidding war with genre titans A24, Miramax and Tran Trancacus, Trancus, uh, yeah, Trancus International Films had secured the TV rights to the Halloween franchise. And today, Miramax's head of worldwide television, Mark Helwig, brings us some intriguing updates. Speaking with Deadline, Hel Helwig reveals that the Halloween television series will be taking things back to the start, spinning off of John Carpenter's 1978 original rather than David Gordon Green and Blumhouse's recent reboot trilogy. Hmm. It just reminded me of like me trying to explain to my friends the timeline for the Halloween franchise. Do 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 do. <laughs> it's, it's just like Halloween, man. If you don't know, man, it's just like the, the it's the choose your adventure style. Uh, anyways, he says. Um, the foundation of it is is the original film, the John Carpenter movie, the characters of that film, and perhaps a group of characters that we haven't really focused on that much in recent film versions, or even in a number of them. It's a creative reset completely and going back to the original film as opposed to spinning out of any of the any more of the re recent film ad adaptations. Sorry, I messed up there, but hey, I get what he's saying. Uh, this kind of reminds me of like, I just watched a video from uh, Brian Q over at Hat Home Home Video. He's talking about remakes and stuff, how uh, he likes The Wiz, uh, uh, the retelling of the, uh, Wizard of Oz, The Wiz version, because he thought that was a remake done right, because it's telling uh, the story of The Wizard of Oz through a new lens in a different way that's still very similar and stuff. And I always say like the thing, and the Fly reboots, remakes, or I should say remakes from the 80s, are really great remakes. And um, I think with this Halloween, they're they're starting to run Halloween into the ground. I, look, I love classic slasher films. I love uh, uh, the Halloween franchise. I love the Friday the 13th franchise. I love the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise, at least, well, at least the first three. <laughs> I love uh, uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street is probably my favorite, one of my favorite, if not my favorite, uh, uh, franchise of horror. Um, but at there's times I'm of I'm of the opinion that it's okay to let things in, it's okay to let things in, you know, it's okay. Like we have 13 Halloween films, there's something there for everybody that is rewatchable. We have 12 uh, Friday the 13th films, which so I honestly I do feel like maybe Friday the 13th could use one more film to make it 13 even films. That's the only one I would consider. Uh, and if there would do another a Nightmare on Elm Street movie. I would want Robert England back, but he's he's done, and I'm I'm fine with being uh, Wes Craven's new Nightmare and Freddy vs Jason being the last two times I see Freddy. I'm fine with that, but I, I know these franchises breed big money, and they're they're important to a lot of us in the horror community and horror film lovers. So uh, you know this is going to keep happening, but with modern times and modern writers and stuff, this is what worries me the most. I mean, Halloween ends sucked. It was absolutely horrible. I thought the the David Gordon Green trilogy started off strong with Halloween 2018. I actually liked it. Halloween uh, Kills was a little, eh, eh. Uh, you know, I'm a little indifferent to it nowadays. I don't think it's as bad as some, but it, 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 it wasn't where I wanted it to be. And then Halloween End just destroyed everything, everything he built up. And David Gordon Green, I mean, look what he did to The Exorcist. He's gone off that now as well. Uh, but let's continue with this. It says, considering there are 13 movies. See, like I just said, 13 Halloween movies. There should be 13 Friday the 13th movies. Uh, movies in the Halloween franchise. Stripping things back to the basics of the game-changing original could prove to be a very wise ideal. Given that the most recent reboot wrapped things up pretty neatly. No. No, it didn't. It wrapped things up horribly. Refer, re referring to Gordon Green's trilogy, Howick notes that I don't think that is an opportunity to go back 
to go off of the back of that. Yeah, I don't think you should. Uh, I think they want to get away from that as far as they can. I think most people realize that sucked and uh, did some really bad damage to the franchise, in my opinion. Um, it says, Miramax and Trancus co-owning the Halloween rights also means that this television show could spawn an entire new universe of Halloween stories and characters that I hate hearing. If anything, if anything, they should do what John Carpenter had originally visioned and make Halloween a... Um, you know, an anthology series. I mean, yeah, you could start off with the TV series doing like a Michael Myers stories, and then maybe you could slip back into the world of Halloween 3, and then maybe go to another, uh, you know, universe. Well, I would say universe, but like another anthology story within and calling it Halloween. That would be interesting. I think that could be interesting. And then like you could do it over years, you know, couples, you know, maybe 10 episodes a season, different stories. And maybe you could revisit certain characters from like, like maybe you could go into Halloween four territory and that could, you know, you could do something like that. I think that could be original fresh, but at the same time, I'm okay with letting it in. Like I mentioned, producer and CEO of Trankus, Malik Akkad has worked on Halloween, the curse of Michael Myers, Halloween H2, 20 years later, Halloween resurrection, Halloween, the Halloween two. Oh, the Rob Zombie ones are horrible. So he hopefully has a bunch of ideals up his sleeve. Let's hopefully it's not connected to resurrection, Halloween, the Halloween two from Rob Zombie. Those, Oh, those are bad. Uh, it may be too soon to start speculating just yet though, as Hellwig reveals that the foundation of the show are still coming together behind the scenes. He continues with, we're on a fast track. It's a big priority for us. We've had lots of exciting conversations in recent months with a number of really talented people. And I think we'll all have a pretty good idea of what we're going to be doing very soon. We're hoping to lock down the creative team very soon, which I don't have high hopes for the creative team. I'm sorry, I don't, especially modern Hollywood. I just don't have... I don't have faith. I'm sorry. It says, whatever is in store for a Halloween show, we're excited. I'm hesitant. I'm not very excited. It will be Michael Myers' first small screen outing, joining his slasher pals, Chucky. I don't like the Chucky show. I'm sorry. Who's killing... Uh, he, whatever. He's killing it over Cypher USA. I'm not a big fan of it. And Jason, what's though the Jason show with the prequel series, Chris Lake, via A24 and Peacock, does pique my interest because... That is something a little different. I mean, it's a prequel series focusing on uh, Mrs. Voorhees and possibly Jason's father, which we don't know too much about other than what we've read from um, the comics and from uh, what um, Jason Six. Oh, I can't think of his name. Tommy McLaughlin wanted to do with him in the deleted scenes and stuff. So I would be... I would be interested in that one. So I'm cautiously a little more optimistic about the Crystal Lake one. I might give that a chance to see. But this Halloween show... Um, I don't know. I don't know. I just like, I'm like, I, lo I love the Halloween movies. I like Michael Myers. He's awesome. But I have 13 films to choose from. I can go back and watch Halloween 1, 2, H2O, which is an awesome trilogy. I can go back and watch Halloween, Halloween 2, Halloween 4, and Halloween 5, and Halloween 6, which is decent. That's a good timeline. I know some people don't like Halloween 6, and that's understandable. Um, uh, you know, and then I can go into Halloween, the Halloween 2018, and uh, the Blumhouse trilogy, which I probably won't do mo most of that <laughs> in my opinion um but what do you guys think what do you guys think about this uh, update and upcoming halloween tv series what would you guys do with the halloween tv series would you continue the story of michael myers going back to the john carpenter film once again and trying to spin off of that or would you do something different would you do make it an anthology series like john carpenter originally wanted like he did with halloween 3 and maybe make a uh, different story set on halloween night that's what sort of what i would do and then i mean it's not like you could leave out michael myers you can come back to michael myers there's like thir like we said there's 13 films you could do a st anthology story of it's like coming off a of halloween one you could do uh, what else he did at night you could go into halloween four and bring back danielle harris and do like a, a multi uh season arc on that or something and then you can go into uh the world of halloween three or another halloween uh, uh time you not that I, I don't want to really say timeline because it's like anthology you could go into that like i mentioned earlier i think that would be cool they and interesting and original but at this point it's just not original anymore it's just it just i don't know i can't i can't get too excited about this just yet i have to know a little more we'll see but i'm a, i'm of the opinion so okay to let it in i got 13 halloween films but let me know what you guys think about all this in the comment section down below and if you liked what you saw here maybe consider hitting that like button or subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications that would be awesome if i earned your guys subscriptions or possibly share the video up for everybody to see or join and become a channel member because that would help out my channel immensely thank you and shout out to all my channel members i appreciate each and every one of you guys thank you guys for being channel members here and for all of your support to everybody watching whether you like me hated me or liked the video or hated the video i thank you for sticking this long wherever you all are please have a great safe happy healthy day morning afternoon evening and night always support physical media it truly is the superior format godspeed